everyone to a special presentation of Questarium Sinister Trinity. I'm not sure why I want to say Trilogy there, but it is Trinity. And this is actually a Steam version of the game. This game came out on Big Fish Games already, but it's actually going to be coming out, or is out right now, for Steam. So I'm going to actually going to go ahead and leave you a link for how you can find it on Steam. And you may be asking yourselves, why do I care? Well, for those of you that are aware of what Steam is, they have Steam achievements that unlock when you do certain things in the game that are actually bragging rights on the Steam service. And there are Steam trading cards, which actually have some intrinsic value to them, like you can actually sell or trade with your friends. So they've actually upped the game here by bringing it over to Steam, and they've actually added some Steam features, which I think is fabulous. Now, this is the HD version, which is another way for, say, a collector's edition. So, yeah, that's going to do it for now. I do want to say thank you to the folks at Geek Entertainment for sending me over the review code for this. Thank you very much, folks, over there. Let's get into this. I'm going to give my impressions after the first 20 minutes, and then we'll go from there. Well, let's play. So we've got casual, normal, hard, and professional. Ha ha ha! I've played over, oh, I don't know, 200 of these games. Casual! Evacuation is carried out in the city. The problem is that we can't find two children. Try to find the detective. Okay, so would I like some interactive help here? I think I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. Look, it's the detective. He wants to help us. I, we have a couple kids in the window, and there's a fire going on over there. Let's see what happens when we. Yes. Oh, wow. Hmm. Oh, this is neat. So there you go, folks. If you were interested in seeing a game with live actors on a green screen, I was wondering if that was going to be something just with the opening video there, the opening but apparently we have it in game as well. Alright, let's climb the rope here, so to speak. Uh, who's this guy? Oh, he was the experiment guy. Uh, oh. Is he invisible? Oh no. He burned the bed sheets. Oh no. So we're not going to be able to get up the easy way. That's unfortunate. So he says here we can zoom in on some areas to study them in detail. Uh, grab a hydro unit. And I will grab the glowing man's badge. Green lab. Oh, look, it's a four leaf clover. Cool. Use him to get a clue. I need to repair the fire hydrant. So we should be able to place this here. Ah, it's our puzzle right away. Let's get cracking here. So interesting. Um. Oh. Huh. Wow. Push that that way? Sure we can. Kinda need can we push two of them? No we can't. See we gotta get this red one up there. I could go all the way that way, but I don't know if they can stack. No. Hmm. Well what we could do is put this green one here for now. Then we can put this. Actually, I really like this puzzle. This is so cool. So then we can put the red one there. Ah, 
the only challenge is I need this purple one out of there. Shoot. How in the world am I going to do that? Uh, well, what if we... I'm not sure if this is going to help me here. trouble here. What's this here? Is there a spot where I can... No, it won't go straight. So where does this take me? I need that green one to be free. See how I'm actually making it this better. <laughs> I don't think I am. Uh, well, we'll push this one here, and we can push. That one there. Okay, this actually might work. Okay, let me see here. That green one here. And then we can get the purple back here. And then we'll put the green one here. Alright, we are in business. I'm actually quite proud of myself. Yay! No, wrong one. Let's go to the next one. Last but not least, this is a good way to fix the fire hydrant, is it? Kind of a Hanoi Tower kind of puzzle. I like that. Ooh, ooh, a Steam achievement. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. <laughs> right into our clicky clicky. Yay, I think we all know how these work. 432. Need the code. To put some bullets, cartridges into their 351. Oh. Got some cash! Tap this button to go to my house? By tapping the book on the table, you'll be able to see the rare plants you found. Huh. Found 15, okay. You can build your own garden. Top your upgrades. Wow, 120 bucks for that thing. Buy an apricot tree. Huh. Sure, why not? A connoisseur, we got an achievement for. Ooh, I really love the color of that tree. I can't afford it though. Wow, that red maple is gorgeous. Alright, that's kind of neat. A couple achievements there. So we gotta keep our eyes peeled for cash. Cold hard cash. Stacks and stacks of dollar bills. Or hundred dollar bills, I don't know. Well, I guess that was two hundred dollars, so maybe those were twenties. But we need more. So that we can decorate our garden. So it looks like we still need a couple birds here. Uh, Multi-tool as well. That's something we get to keep. A knife. Oh wow, that was just random. I don't even know why I wanted to cut that chair. Birds times two. Are these locked somewhere? What are these things? Hmm. Interesting. 
Where are the birdies? Oh wow, that's very well hidden. Ah, we hit the last one. In the hat. Usually bunny rabbits are hiding in the hat. Alright, I like multi-tools. Well, let's go ahead and take care of some business here. And now we can go into the location. going on? In this game you can find a variety of plants. It's a fire plant. Interesting. We got a clock here. How do I know what time to set it to? Something goes to seven. Something goes to two. Oh my gosh, look at all that cash. Cold hard cash. I can buy my red maple. Oh yeah. Look at that thing. That thing's gorgeous. I have one of those in my front yard and it's fabulous. Biggest tree on the street, actually. Cool. I'm actually quite happy with my red maple. Forget about the game and the story. I just want to buy plants for my garden. Oh, this lock is clearly in a bad mood. I bet it has some bad habits too. What do I need to do to appease it? Guess we can't really go upstairs now, can we? It's too dark in there. What if we had our multi-tool? Uh, this not work? Oh yeah, there we go. You know what I hope? I hope we have this multi tool the entire game. I think that would be awesome. I need to solve the problem of the broken wire to make that switch work again. So we need something to cover that up. I know that now isn't the right time to listen to music, but sometimes it's worth it. I don't actually have a record though. Now I have a record. A series of earthquakes rolled through the city. But that was just the beginning. Shortly afterwards, the whole city began or became overgrown with some kind of exotic vegetation. Due to the unstable situation, the entire population was evacuated. Scientists are speculating that this could be the end of the world. Wow, that's kind of dramatic. Come on, ground phone. Off it up. <laughs> that was awesome. Come on, bucket of water, don't you want to go there? Yes, you did. I knew you did. Daddy yeah. often comes home late from work. Our babysitter went to look for Daddy when the evacuation started, and she told us to stay put. She never came back. We're so scared. Something strange is going on in the city. We saw a glowing man. I wish Daddy would come back really soon. A glowing man and some insulating tape. All right, let's hit the switch. Boom, right back into it. Let's get cracking here. Kind of an eclectic. Mix some stuff in this closet here. Toy stuff, and then like the boiler and motor and pestle, which seems a little interesting. I guess you know it's just a storage place, right? So you put all this stuff that you don't really use that often, or maybe your kids outgrew all this stuff, so. Clown. There's a lot of creaky going on here. 
robot. Definitely finding the uh, scenes here quite challenging, but I am liking the art. The art is really well done. And you know, as well as uh, anyone else, that for those of you that are watching the game, I like to play a variety of different games. I'm not somebody that just fixates on a single developer. I do have my favorites, but I most certainly like to play other games that aren't the uh, more popular ones. So, anyways, that's what we're doing here. I got a nice note from uh, our team over at. Uh, UK Entertainment, and you know what, I thought, you know what, why not check it out, I think it'd be a pretty cool thing to have a look at. So, what am I doing here? Oh. Oh, I see, okay, so we gotta put that fan, that's what we mean by fan, do we? Alright, cool. Yeah, I mean, it can't be any worse than Mr. K's Files. Oh my lord, that was challenging. So, not afraid of a challenging game by any stretch of the imagination. Played my many over the, the years that I've been playing these games. Okay, do I have to get in here somehow, or what's the deal here? Fan nails in a car. Aha, that's what I thought. There we go. Where's the bag of nails? Cool. It was finding that actual closet thing there. Wardrobe chest or whatever. Alright, let's have a look at our journal because I haven't checked this out yet. So let's go back to the very beginning. So I received a message over the radio telling me to go to the city and find two children that could not be found during the evacuation. But as soon as I approached the city, I saw something strange. The whole city was overgrown with strange vegetation, and the buildings were partially destroyed. The evacuation was definitely a reasonable measure. People can't live under such conditions. Incredible! I saw a man who glowed all over like lightning. He dropped an ID card from a green lad. He's probably a laboratory worker. Who is this guy? Everything seems much worse or much more serious than it seemed at first. Glance. It turns out that there was an earthquake here too. That explains the cracks of the buildings, but it's still unclear where this vegetation came from. I found a note from the children which made it clear that they seen this glowing man before. It's good that they hit, but bad that it's glowing man has reached them before I did. Alright, so that's our diary there. Here's our map. Oh wow, there's a secret here! You can find money in secret areas. Secret areas aren't marked, so you need to find them yourself. If a zone is a dollar sign next to it on the map, that means there's a secret area here. You can spend your money on decorating your garden. Oh yeah! You know it and I know it. That's the best news ever. So it looks like we have supposed to be here. Okay, so we are supposed to be here. Not exactly sure why I'm supposed to be here. Maybe he wants a pipe? He totally wants a pipe! Hee <laughs> hee. Tap here to see all the passages to other locations. The city authorities have made an official statement. 
The catastrophe was caused by experiments carried out on the fragment of the recovered fallen meteorite. Two people are being held responsible for what has happened. The mayor of the city and the professor who was committed to carrying out the testing. The mayor had assured the citizens that Professor Gustav would take care of the situation. But soon after the statement was made, both of them disappeared. Cool, I like the voice acting in this game too. I found a button. So we need to get access to that for sure. Well, I'm going to just pause right here. It's, you know, we're up with our video here and I'll be back for more. What I can say is, I'm liking this game. Like, look at this kind of cloud formation in the back. The graphics look amazing. Look at the water down here with the reflection in it. I think the voice acting is really well done. The live actors, that's a treat, because you don't see that very often in games anymore. And I thought, I was shocked when I saw that at the opening, and then when I saw it with the, with the children. Wow, okay, so live actors, that's another cool thing. Uh, yeah, and the story I'm finding very interesting. So, anyways, if you folks want to check this out, I'll leave the link for it on Steam. And that's the version where you can actually get it with the uh, achievements and the trading cards. And then, of course, I'll leave the link for it on Big Fish Games. Because you know what? I think this is thumbs up for me. Anyways, I'll be back in the next video. Thanks for watching.